creating some nice marks. So let's let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm going to start with. Uh, let's see what color am I going to start with? Let's start with a, a nice deeper blue here, and I'm going to start to just basically sketch out the overall contours of what I see here and just get my composition on the surface of the paper. And then we'll go in. So we'll bring the stem down here. And then we'll draw the ellipse that happens down here at the bottom. The part that kind of sticks out on the other side. And just to make it consistent, we'll just touch a couple areas in here. Right underneath that lip. It's okay if some of the pastel it builds up on the surface a little bit. Almost like a painting. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, we started with this glass because it is the most detailed glass of the three. And the other two glasses are actually going to be not that difficult. There's some subtle changes in value and, and things like that in there. but And I'm just kind of doing this to try to eradicate some of the tooth of the paper from showing through in some areas. And this is going to kind of smooth out some of those transitions. And then we'll go back and start working the contrast a bit further. And it's funny how our mind starts to put together the, all those lines and colors and things and, and make sense of what we're looking at. Yeah. I'm just going to curve the bottom of this a little bit. And I want to show you here real fast um, how our edges are going to going to look, how the edges of things are going to play out. Now just part of this is because I'm impatient of interest in the strokes that we make around the edge. You see how that that edge is just going to clean things up nicely when we go around the the outside with the pastel. If if we get a little too far, far in here with our with our white here, we can just clean up those edges on the glass. So you can work back and forth we don't want the edges to be overly defined. So in other words, we don't want an outline around the object. We want a con the contrast between the background and the object to form the edges, which is how we see things in reality anyway. If you get too much of the oil pastel on the surface or you want to remove some of it, you can use an X-Acto knife, kind of scrape it away with the overall shape of the glass, almost like you were taking your finger and moving it down the side of the glass. How would that line turn? Again, the overall value of this glass is going to be much lighter than the one that's in the foreground that's closest to the viewer. All right, so I'm just pulling that colorless blender down here. And you can really see how it really smooths things out. You know, the look we're going for here is kind of a painterly look anyway. We're not uh, trying to create a super refined, highly realistic drawing here. If we wanted to produce a drawing like that, probably a better approach would be to use a different medium, like perhaps colored pencils. But oil. And since we don't have really anything behind this glass other than that line, you have to really focus on those highlights and areas of strong contrast in order to create that illusion. Further. All right, let's go. Right here at the bottom portion of this glass, you can see how dark that gets and how it rounds out and kind of curves up the side. So we're going to use our darker blue for this. Now this is brown, and it's creating a more of a natural neutral here. That's actually a little bit on the bluer end of things. And like I All right, uh, just to preserve things a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of pressure here on the outer edge and just go ahead and create that light area right here. So again, that mixture of blue and brown is going to make a natural black. We're not using black at all, the actual color black. A lot of pressure on the pastel. And it's going to make a shape, most likely, that's not exactly like what's in your photo reference. Or not exactly in whatever subject you're drawing. And that's okay. Some interesting patterns and...
textures when we add the oil pastel in the background. And some of the blue around the edges is going to mix in and uh, kind of add a little bit more depth to the strokes that we add around the, the outside. And you can have fun with it, really build up the texture. I like the, the looser feel almost of the, of the finished drawing. And you kind of see this; these two glasses really look transparent now. This one didn't look so transparent last week, but in comparison with the other two glasses they do now, all because of that little... That little piece right there, um, it's really coming together because of that. And rec that the pastels are so thick on the surface now, I can move it around almost like it's wet paint. Okay, you can see how painterly and how loose the marks look. If you enjoyed this video and you're ready to learn more, why not check out five video courses, weekly live instruction, and over 6,280 minutes of art instruction which includes video courses, downloadable ebooks, weekly live lessons streamed across the internet, and lesson plans for teachers. Just click on the Learn More Now button to start learning today.